What I have in front of me is PEX A and PEX B. This PEX A is from Sioux Chief, and over here is some PEX B from Everhot. The blue is your standard PEX tubing, and this red tubing right here is radiant uh, oxygen barrier tubing used for radiant heating systems that are closed loop. I have another video that you can click on the side that explains this in full detail. But in this video, I want to basically break down the pros and cons of PEX A and B, where you can purchase these, like who manufactures them, and just so you're generally comfortable with making your purchase. So here are a few important notes about the differences between PEX A and B tubing that I want to get into before specifics. First of all, PEX A and B tubing have the same function, they do the same thing, but they just have a slightly different chemical makeup. And also, any fitting that you can put on PEX A can go on PEX B. So they use the same fittings, except for expansion fittings, which only work on PEX A tubing. PEX A is slightly more expensive than PEX B and is also slightly stronger. And PEX B is the most popular PEX sold. Both types of PEX have to comply with the same standards before they can be used anywhere in the US. And these standards include pressure and temperature ratings, minimum bending radius, and necessary pipe wall thickness. So the first pro is that PEX A has the highest flexibility and softness among all PEX types so it's a bit easier to work with as you can see here. I struggle a little bit more with PEX B to get in the support and if you think about this on a long-term project it could kind of get annoying. Another great thing about PEX A is that if you get a kink in your tubing you can take a heat gun right to it and just fix it. So this is PEX B and you see that there's this kink in it. There's no way to fix it so if, you're, if your whole system has a kink in it you basically have to cut it out and then mend it with two pieces of PEX. But with PEX A, you could just take a heat gun to it and it's fine. PEX A also has the highest degree of cross-linking, which is the production method that makes the chemical bond strongest. And lastly, which is my favorite thing about PEX A tubing, is that compared to PEX B, like if you took PEX B out of the coil, it would keep its shape generally and make it harder to work with. But PEX A bends easily and it stays in its shape. So it, it has that, that memory that makes it much better to work with. The first and most obvious downside of PEX A tubing is that it is a little bit more expensive than PEX B tubing. So, but you're, you're going to be paying for the quality. That happens with any product, basically. Another downside is that it has a lower bursting pressure. So in colder temperatures, it's more likely to burst quicker than PEX B tubing. And lastly, PEX A tubing is more likely to leach chemicals than PEX B tubing that are left over from the manufacturing process. And some of the manufacturers of PEX A tubing are Up Honor, Rehow, Mr. PEX, and Sioux Chief. So the first reason you might want to buy PEX B over PEX A is it has better resistance to oxidation. It also has less chemical leaching than PEX A. It also has a higher bursting pressure and all at a lower price than PEX A tubing. The biggest thing I don't like about PEX B tubing is it has that noticeable coil memory. So when you take it out of the packaging from the coil, it retains that shape which is curved and it just kind of makes it annoying to work with at times. If that doesn't matter, then PEX B can still be for you. Um, it also has, if you get a kink in it, you have to completely cut out the tubing and replace it with some other tubing and use fittings, which can, you know, be more expensive. And the last thing is that it has the lower cross-link ratio than PEX A tubing, so it just has a weaker chemical bond. A few of the manufacturers of PEX B tubing are Watts, Vega, and Everhot. If you want to read more about the chemical process that makes the PEX A and B different, you can pause this right here and read through this chart. If anyone has experience with both PEX A and B and you want to add some pros and cons that you think I missed, then let me know in the comments section. I'd love to share them with some more people. And if you like the video, then press subscribe.